So today is an SPD session, so I've got uh, obviously squats first, bench second, then deadlifts, and I'm pretty much going to be working up to what my openers are going to be, or very close to my openers. So starting off with squat, we're going to be going for 220, bench 140, and then deadlifts 240. So I'm also still cutting weight at the moment because I weighed myself just before I came to the gym and I was 170, 170, can you imagine? <laughs> I was 107.4 kilos, so still two and a half kilos over the weight category, but this is in the evening after having food, so I think tomorrow morning I should probably drop down to just over 105.8, something like that, because uh, I've had a lot of um, high mass food but low calorie, so basically a lot of vegetables today, so a lot of that is just big weight, and that will sort of obviously come out uh, just throughout the day, so hopefully I'm on track to make weight without having to walk up. If you want to do another warm up mate, I've still got to put my stuff on. So I spoke to um, Ben on the phone the other day and he basically said, I'm not doing a water cut. He doesn't want me to water cut at all, so I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way of just dieting, uh, which is fine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drink a lot of water naturally throughout the week anyway, just to stay hydrated, just to uh, help with the rehab side of things anyway. But uh, yeah, it's a no for the water cup. Either my legs have got bigger or these have shrunk. Probably the latter. What size are your new sleeves? XL. Mine are medium. Yeah, but yours going a lot bit more difficult than mine, aren't they? Huh? Yours are a lot harder for mine. Yeah, well, I've got smaller legs as well. Not these legs, though. Your legs are probably still bigger, though. I might catch him in the chair, maybe. Catch him what? <laughs> right, let's warm up. Alright, so 220 kilos went up, but it just didn't feel as good as previous weeks, but I'm a little bit more chilled today, I'm not getting hyped up for the lift, um, and I also wasn't listening to music or anything like that, so I think if I can get like properly pumped on the day, then that will feel ridiculously easy, so I'm just going to do a few back down sets now, and then it's on the bench. That's it. Go on. Hold that, that's it, that's one. That's one, come on. 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 Push. That was 120 done, on to 140. Slow, 
All right, so bench felt really, really good. Um, no trouble in my shoulder whatsoever. Um, so touch wood, that continues into deadlift. So like I said, working up to 240 kilos, then a few back down sets. Right, what I've got here is a turkey steak and bland rice because obviously I've not been very disciplined for the last few weeks, months and this is my punishment. I've got to eat bland crappy food in order to make weight but to be fair I weighed myself after the gym and I weighed 106.1 kilos which means I'm only a kilo over my weight category. And this is in the, e in the evening when I've been eating food as well. So by the morning, I should be pretty much close to 105, um, which means basically the weight that I was carrying was basically water weight. Um, and the fact that I've now lowered my carbs and my calories shows that the water has just basically come off. So that's good news. I don't have to water cut. Um, it just means I need to monitor the food that I eat for the next few days. So it's a good session today, SBD session. I do love a squat bench and deadlift session. Um, so I'm pretty sure those numbers are gonna be very close to my openers. 220 didn't move as well as it has done previously, but um, to be honest, I wasn't very hyped up for them. For all of the lifts, I made sure that I wasn't listening to music. I didn't get ridiculously hyped up. Um, for the deadlift, I sniffed some smelling salts, um, and that's about it, just because I wanted to end that session um, confidently. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with how they all move. They definitely didn't move ridiculously quickly, but to be honest, fatigue is really high at the moment, so that was the last heavy session, and now it's just gonna be the taper. I've got two more sessions to go. Um, they're gonna be light, just recovery days, and then we'll just go into the meat and feel great, hopefully. So after the gym, I did go to the chiropractor. Um, I mean, I did come home first and have a shower. I'm not a wrong one. Um, and just basically um, had an MOT. So I normally go every sort of few months, uh, but we planned it. So um, I went just before my competition just to make sure that my spine and my hips and everything was sort of all in line. Um, and Haley, who is my chiropractor, she did sort of say that my hips were slightly wonky um, and she said that you, you might notice it um, in the squat a little bit, which I, I kind of have. Um, like when I squat, I do sort of feel like I favor one side. Um, so she's just corrected that for me. Um, she did also have a look at my shoulder as well and she did uh, tell me kind of what I already knew um, in the fact that it's to do with sort of pec tightness 
um, and just my anterior delt is dominant, which is sort of pulling my shoulders forward. So that's very common in powerlifters, especially for powerlifters that do a lot of benching because they overdevelop the front part of their delt um, and they neglect the rear delts. So. She basically told me um, to do a lot of rear delt work, which I have been trying to do. Um, so hopefully that will be enough to uh, make sure I'm pain free day of the comp. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up the video now. Um, next one's gonna be lightweight, bland food and stretching. So if I were you, I, I wouldn't bother watching it. I'm kidding, I'll try and make it somewhat entertaining. But um, as for now, if you could leave this video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.